The signal and the noise, why so many predictions fail, but some don't authored by Nate Silver, is a compelling exploration of the challenges and pitfalls inherent in prediction-making processes. Through a meticulous analysis of various fields and their predictions, Silver offers valuable insights into the crucial distinction between the signal, the true underlying information, and the noise, the random fluctuations that can obscure the signal. The book delves into the reasons behind the frequent failures of predictions, while also shedding light on the approaches that can lead to more accurate forecasts. Silver begins by highlighting the ubiquity of predictions in our modern world, ranging from weather forecasts to economic projections, and even political polls. Despite the technological advancements and access to massive amounts of data, predictions often miss the mark due to an overabundance of noise that clouds judgment. This dichotomy between signal and noise forms the cornerstone of Silver's analysis, as he emphasizes that successful prediction hinges on discerning the signal from the background noise. One of the key points that Silver underscores is the danger of overfitting, the process of tailoring models to fit historical data too closely, which can lead to poor performance when facing new data. He illustrates this concept with the example of economic models failing to predict the 2008 financial crisis, as they were overly influenced by past data points. This cautionary tale serves as a reminder that predictions should not blindly rely on historical patterns, but should accommodate dynamic and unforeseen changes. Furthermore, Silver expounds on the importance of probabilistic thinking in making predictions. Instead of presenting forecasts as certainties, he advocates for expressing them as probabilities. This approach acknowledges the inherent uncertainty and the possibility of unexpected outcomes. It also invites a more nuanced understanding of risk, which is often overlooked when predictions are presented as absolute truths. Silver's exploration of diverse fields, from weather forecasting to political elections, underscores the common challenges they face. In each case, he dissects both successes and failures to reveal underlying patterns. For instance, he discusses the accuracy of weather predictions, which have significantly improved due to advancements in technology and modeling techniques. Yet, challenges persist due to the inherent complexity of weather systems and the limitations of computational power. Political predictions, on the other hand, often fall short due to biases in data collection, human cognitive biases, and the inability to account for unexpected events. Silver draws attention to the 2016 U.S. presidential election as a prime example, where polls and pundits failed to foresee the outcome. This serves as a reminder that even the most sophisticated models can be vulnerable to unanticipated shifts in public sentiment and behavior. Silver's analysis goes beyond specific examples and delves into the broader societal implications of prediction failures. He discusses how our tendency to prioritize short-term gains over long-term stability can lead to erroneous forecasts, as seen in the 2008 financial crisis and climate change predictions. This exploration emphasizes the need for a more holistic approach to predictions that considers not only immediate outcomes but also their long-term repercussions. In conclusion, The Signal and the Noise by Nate Silver provides a comprehensive analysis of the challenges surrounding predictions and offers valuable lessons for improving their accuracy. By highlighting the interplay between signal and noise, cautioning against overfitting, advocating for probabilistic thinking, and examining the failures across various domains, Silver presents a nuanced view of the complexities of prediction-making. The book underscores that successful predictions require a deep understanding of the underlying processes, a willingness to embrace uncertainty, and a continuous refinement of models in response to new information.